Okay, we are looking at editing, live editing some photos on Adobe Photoshop. I realize this is not the most recent version, but uh, the whole idea is that you could take some of what you learned in this video and uh, apply to whatever application you're using to edit. So when you take a, a photo um, from your camera, I, um, you know, you try to spice it up a bit. It depends what the purpose of the photo is. So in looking at this photo, it uh, was actually not bad. I, I may not have to do too much to it, but uh, you know, I like to do HDR toning. If uh, you just want to do the bare minimum, maybe you could do some auto color or auto toning. No, I'm not a color specialist when it comes to photos. I actually recommend an uh, American guy. His name is Sean Dalton. I met uh, I met and know him from Chiang Mai. He's from San Francisco and he has some classes on Skillshare. So if you really want to dive into editing with uh, programs like Adobe Lightroom and stuff like that and get into coloring and presets, I recommend that you check out his course. What I'm going to show you is what I do just to make it better than it initially was or to create some special uh, coloring using the tools in Adobe Photoshop. So I like to dive right into HDR toning. So if I cancel that, you can immediately see that there was stuff hidden before I apply that. So I might be able to bring that up by lifting up the, the shadows so that does the same thing so uh, it's probably too much shadows over there so I can bring that up a little bit highlights we can play around with that as well and that's what's nice about a program like Adobe Photoshop usually you don't have access to these tools when you're just using free applications. I like to apply some saturation to bring up more colors to give it more pop. save this this is actually taken in Hanoi by the Ho Kim Lake and this is the famous red light bridge so I'm gonna I'm gonna name it Hanoi red bridge at night Okay, and I will save it at maximum. Now if I want to share this on Instagram, then I'll want to save for web. Alright, I'm going to teach you another method of editing for another photo. So this is the iconic Petronas Towers and the KL Tower, I actually took this recently from a rooftop bar called the Banyan Tree in Kuala Lumpur. So I'm going to go to image adjustments and HDR toning. I did that for the last photo but then I cancelled it and then I just did some color grading using regular tools. Now we're gonna dive into something a little bit different. Okay, so I like some of these presets here. We've got more saturated, so I showed you how to do that earlier. I'm not an expert on this curve here, so I just tend to focus using my eyes. And you can see, yeah, this 
creates a cool effect. It's a little bit too much. So you can lower down the detail to make it look a bit more realistic. The highlights are pretty low, so I can bring that up. And you can see this is deeply saturated. A lot of gamma. Sorry, it's a little bit slow because we're actually recording this on uh, the screen recording live. Now well, we got something here. This is a little bit more vibrant than the default one, but I want to show you something a little bit surreal. How can we create a uh, surreal effect? Something that looks out of this world. I will show you that after we've applied the uh, HDR to this image. So I'll, I'll you work with Adobe Photoshop if I want to create something extra special, if it's really a shot that I like. Otherwise, Instagram has a lot of filters, Facebook has filters, but that's those filters have become the new norm all right this is taking a little bit long i'm gonna go ahead and cancel this and uh, show you how to do this real effect so you can see it's gone back to normal plain old boring skyline so let's change that let's go to hdr tuning again I'm going to search for one of the other presets as base. Let's go to photo realistic. So photo realistic turns down the shadow and the highlights. So I'll Try out some of these different presets just to see if it's the look that I want. So this one's a real high contrast. Okay, I can see the detail is at almost maxed out, so I'm going to bring that down. That's kind of a cool effect. Maybe we can lift the highlights up a bit and the shadows. some saturation, bring down the vibrance, too much shadows. for that to apply but I think you get the idea of what that looks like so another way I could have done it is just do the regular settings I could have lifted the highlights a little bit lifted the shadows and um, just bump up the saturation and um, yeah what I could have done is try to highlight more of that that purple that's in the sky that's in this tower I think this looks not too bad. I mean, there's more than one way to edit a photo. So I hope this video helps just to give you some idea of my workflow. Hopefully I can get my hands on the current version of Adobe Premiere and uh, show you some of the workflow that I do there. But uh, whatever tool that you use, uh, try to experiment. Have some fun with it, try out some different looks. It doesn't have to be done in a mathematical, scientific way where you're looking at the histogram. I do that for video, but for photos, I like to freestyle it a little bit more. And um, yeah, put it out there, see if your friends like it, and see what how many likes you get. 
No, just kidding. Just uh, but put it out there, and uh, I mean, if you get if you get some love, then I mean that's the true confirmation that you're doing good stuff, right? Because at the end of the day, for photos, I mean, those are the customers. All right, so I uh, hope this video helps, and this will wrap up our um, post workflow series. We've covered how to. Uh, take nightlife photos, nightlife videos, we've gone out in the field, we've done a lot of different things so I hope you've gotten a lot out of this course and we'll see you later.